Welcome to Storytime from Space, a project of the Global Space Education Foundation. To learn how you can support this exciting project, please visit storytimefromspace.com. everybody and welcome to Storytime in Space. My name is Serena Anand-Chancellor on board Expedition 56 on the International Space Station. Welcome if you're at home or at your local library or even from your school. Today we are reading If I Were an Astronaut by Eric Braun. And this is kind of the perfect place on the space station to read this book. This place is called the Airlock on board the space station and this is where we do our spacewalks from. In fact, I have my two spacewalking buddies here, spacesuit number one and spacesuit number two. And these are the special suits we use when we go out and do spacewalks. And although it's a little packed right now, this big area behind me is our crew lock. And there's a special hatch down there, and that is where we go to actually exit out into space. So I think it's pretty perfect for us to be here while we read this book today. So let's get started. If I were an astronaut, I would fly a spacecraft in outer space. If I were an astronaut, I would feel the G's. Gravity would pin me to my seat as I blasted off. My arms and legs would feel like concrete as I rose into space. And that's true. You watch how she's being pinned back in her seat. That's exactly what we felt when we launched on board the spacecraft. It felt like something pushing on our chest and holding us back into the seat. That's how powerful the rocket is. If I were an astronaut, I would dock my ship to the space station. I would gently settle the shuttle into place. Be careful, lighten up on the thrusters. And we've got all kinds of vehicles that come dock to the space station. They, a lot of them bring, them bring us food and water and supplies and science experiments. And some of the vehicles like the Soyuz that we traveled on carry people to and from the space station. If I were an astronaut, I would be part of a super team. I would work with astronauts and scientists from all around the world. We would learn from each other and help each other. We would have the greatest jobs we could imagine. And what you see all these folks doing here from at least two different countries in this picture from Canada and the United States is a crew working together and that's exactly what our crew does up here. There's six of us. We've got two from Russia, one from Germany, and three from the United States. And we all work together on science experiments and daily activities, and we all eat together. If I were an astronaut, I would run a robotic arm. I would lift a huge truss from the shuttle. The part would be added to the space station. And you can see what she's doing here. She's being very careful as she moves that robot arm. And, and this is something I did the very first week I came up here. We had a special spacewalk that was going on outside. And sometimes we carry the astronauts around on the robot arm to go do certain things to fix the space station. And so you have to be very careful. It's not like a, not like a video game. It's, you have to be very, very gentle with the controllers. So you can see what she's saying here. Don't bump it. Don't drop it. If I were an astronaut, I would take a spacewalk. I would fix a section of the space station. Stars, planets, and deep space would be all around. What a view. And that is very true. The view you get if you do a spacewalk is tremendous of the Earth. And that's why we're in our special spacewalking area on board the space station here. Like I said, we got our two spacewalking suit buddies. These are the special suits or EMUs that we wear, extra vehicular mobility unit. Very long word, that's why we call them EMUs, but you can just call them a spacesuit. Like I said, right behind me, all kinds of equipment and supplies for us to put these suits right inside this big hole over here, and then they go out the hatch. And that's how we do our spacewalks. Even behind me here, you see a whole bunch of tools, what we call tethers, things to keep us attached to the space station while we do a spacewalk, and make sure the astronauts stay safe and don't come unattached from the space station. If I were an astronaut, I would try to keep my food from floating away. Some foods, such as spaghetti or scrambled eggs, would be dried. I would add water before I warmed it in the oven. And this is a really good picture of how we make our food up here. We add water to a lot of different things uh, to heat it up. They're rehydratable foods. 
Some foods we can just heat up in our special oven here and we eat them just like they are, like soups and some chicken dishes and pasta dishes. We don't need to add any water. Um, but we try to eat together with everybody. Uh, we still do have a, a dinner table, I guess, and we put our food on our dinner table just like you have at home. Um, but mealtimes are fun because food is definitely different than it is on Earth. <laughs> and I'm trying to, really. If I were an astronaut, I would sleep stuck to the wall. My sleeping bag would keep me from drifting around the room. I could even sleep upside down like a bat. And you can see here, she is sleeping upside down. Her hair is going everywhere. And I can do the same thing here. I can even talk to you upside down and do story, from, story time from space upside down. If I were an astronaut, I would do cool science experiments. I might even discover important new medicines. And I'll turn back around again. I'll do another part wheel. And that's very important. We do discover all kinds of new things here on the space station, including new medicines. In fact, just a few weeks ago, we were looking at new medicines to treat cancer. If I were an astronaut, each day would be an adventure. I would visit outer space and see amazing things. I would live in the space station for months at a time. I would have a blast. And that's right, we stay up here for about five to six months every time. And that may seem like a long time to you, but the time goes by really quickly up here because we're so busy with all the science experiments and all the fun we're having. How do you get to be an astronaut? People who want to be astronauts study lots of math and science. They get hundreds of hours of experience flying. They exercise a lot, so they are in great shape. People who want to be astronauts have to be patient and believe in themselves. It takes a long time and a lot of work to be an astronaut. But if that is something you want to do, then absolutely you can do it. It does take a lot of hard work, but it's, an, it's a blast up here, and our crew is having a lot of fun. So once again, thank you for joining us for Storytime in Space from the International Space Station here inside the airlock. I'm Serena Anand Chancellor, Expedition 56. Hope you had a great time today. See you later. Thank you for joining us for Storytime from Space. We hope you enjoyed our story today from the International Space Station. We hope you'll join us again soon for another book reading or for one of our science experiments. Until next time, we look forward to reading together again soon.